Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a downfill sleeping bag with arm sleeves. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, so to get things started, before I unpack the sleeping bag out of the stuff sack, I just want to point out there are two brand names located on the front. This product is directly from Japan. So, it coming from Japan, I've had a hard time trying to find any users that have actually been using this to basically see what they have found in the product. Me personally, I like the product, which is why I'm sharing it with you guys today. So, I did manage to find some specs on it, and I'm just going to read these to you very quickly. So, this is a, the fabric type is an Aurora Tex Lining 40 Denier Nylon Taffeta. It has a fill power of Spanish Duck Down of 760 fill power. So that's a very strange number, but it says Spanish Duck Down, 760 fill power. The amount of down that is inside of this is 380 grams. This is gray. It is also available in red, blue, and a yellow color. Uh, the total weight of the product is 1170 grams, including the storage bag. The temperature rating is 7 degrees Celsius to 2 degrees Celsius. And the name is the Aurora 350, I believe is what I could find on it. So some of the information is a little difficult for me to find on this. I will also mention that this product was sent to me. And no, I do not take any kind of script or contract or anything from companies. Everything I review is 100% my words and my opinion on the product. No affiliate links, no discount codes, no promo codes, no money involved, just my honest review. So I'm going to get this out of the stuff sack, lay it out on the table, allow it to loft up, and we're going to have a really close look at the sleeping bag. All right, guys, so here we have the sleeping bag unpacked. It is still currently lofting up. It's been on the table for about two minutes now. So we're probably about 70% lofted up right now. Uh, this is the gray color, so it's more of a greenish gray. I really do enjoy this color. The interior color is a black. So very nice color scheme here. Up on the chest area, we do have those brands again, and then the Made in Japan tag. So that's kind of interesting. We do have YKK zippers. This is a center zip sleeping bag going right down the chest. It has this glow in the dark piece on the zipper. This is a YKK zipper, but this top part is actually glow in the dark and it shows up really well at nighttime. This zipper is anti-snag, so it does function very, very well. It does not snag. It works really well and very reliable. It does unzip almost all the way down towards the feet, so you can really unzip this all the way if you choose to there is a hood on the sleeping bag way up top we do have two draw cords on the inside to really cinch it in and then a sleeping bag having arm sleeves this is really awesome it has elasticated uh, arms here so it does cinch around your wrist quite nice and snug and it's just a really fun sleeping bag it is very very warm i feel that they probably softly rated this i would push this down to probably negative two degrees celsius and that's where I would stop, or I would add another sleeping bag inside, maybe a very lightweight down blanket to push it down to maybe negative eight degrees Celsius. But this is a very, very nice product. So coming in for a closer look at the zipper system, there is a zipper all the way at the bottom, which you can unzip to put your feet out and vent out some heat. You can zip that all the way shut, and then the main zipper also zips all the way down. And there's that glow in the dark piece that I was talking about. This is a YKK zipper, very nice and very good quality. Here we have a look at some of the branding on the left portion of the chest area. We've got the name, the company, the made in Japan tag. At the top portion of the sleeping bag, right where your face would go in, there is a Velcro closure to go over top of the zipper and help keep that zipper shut. Looking inside of the hood, we can also see a closer look at the drawstring here. This will cinch in one side, and then there is another drawstring on the other side to really help cinch this hood in. There is a large kind of baffling system here, almost a draft tube around the hood, which is very nice for sleeping. It does wrap around the forehead area of your face, keeping you nice and warm. On the side area of the sleeping bag, right down at your hip area, there is a snap closure which gives you access to reach inside to your pant pockets. That can be snapped up to help stay warm. 
down at the foot end of the sleeping bag, there is this little snap loop here. It does unsnap and I'll show you what this is used for a little later on in the video. Having a closer look at the sleeve system here, you can see there is a little bit of an extension on the sleeve. This portion here has the elastic band. This tucks down inside of the sleeve, creating a nice closure if you do put your hands inside the sleeve while you're sleeping. All right, so crawling inside of the sleeping bag is a very simple procedure. Having that center zip open all the way up makes it very, very easy to get in. So I'm just gonna reach down here, zip that up. Now the bonus with the sleeping bag, where it does have the arm sleeves, is I don't need to worry about zipping that up all the way because I can simply put my arm through the sleeve, put my other arm through the sleeve, and then I can zip down just like a jacket, zip that all the way up, Put the Velcro closure on. I can put my hood on. And be nice and warm just like this. Now, if I do want to tuck my hands in, I simply pull them in. And then I almost grasp that black portion that I was showing you. And that closes off the sleeve area. And I can still extend my arm fully. And it's not pulling on there too tight. Now, if I do want to put my hands out, I can still grab things around the tent and operate. If I were sitting up, I could still do cooking. If I need to reach in through my pocket, there is that snap here so I can reach into my pant pocket if I need to grab anything. I can simply snap that shut. And all in all, it's a very interesting system. Now, what makes this really interesting for sleeping is if I happen to be sleeping in my tent and I wake up in the morning and I want to make coffee, well, I could keep the hood on my head and I can open up the tent door in the vestibule and I could cook coffee from inside of my sleeping bag, which is incredible. Another thing that I really like about this is if I want to sleep on my stomach, all I got to do is simply roll over and I've got these arm sleeves. So now when I'm sleeping on my stomach, I can extend my arms up with the hood on and my arms are still insulated with my hands inside of the sleeve. So now I can sleep on my stomach and be totally nice and warm. Whereas a traditional sleeping bag, I can't do that. With this, I actually can, and it makes it very, very easy to function inside and outside of the tent. Now, the interesting thing is this is more than just a sleeping bag because I can actually stand up and walk around with this on, and I'll demonstrate that right now. Okay, guys, so let's say I wanna sit inside of the sleeping bag with my shoes on so I can actually get up and walk around. What I like to do is zip the sleeping bag all the way up to the top if you're out of it. If you're already inside of it, all you need to do is unzip the bottom and poke your feet out very simply. Now, if we flip the sleeping bag over, there is a little tab sewn into the back right here, and that corresponds with this hanger clip here. This also is used for hanging it to help dry it out and whatnot, but if you snake that through this little loop and snap it on itself, now essentially we've got the foot end of the sleeping bag up off of the ground. I already have my shoes on, so I'm gonna enter through the bottom, basically putting it on something similar to a jacket. So if I could find the arm sleeves, And this is the most difficult way of getting it on. Typically, you would already have it on from inside of the tent. I just wanted to show that feature. And then if I sit down inside of the sleeping bag, I can then zip this up while having the hood on and be sitting inside of the tent or on a log or on a rock or whatever you want to do. And then when it comes time to get up and walk, all you gotta do is stand up and simply walk. And then when you come inside of the tent, all you gotta do is pop your shoes off. So if I toss my shoes off to the side, I can reach behind me, I can unsnap that snap, drop it down just like that, and zip up the foot area. And now I'm totally encapsulated inside of my down sleeping bag. 
which I can then transfer inside of the tent or outside of the tent without taking it off. Now what this does, which is really interesting to me, is it cuts down on some camp clothing. So if I happen to bring a heavier sweater or a jacket around camp just to wear specifically at camp or maybe in my tent, now I don't have to do that because I can actually wear this in my tent or outside of my tent. Obviously stay caution away from campfires because embers landing on this will damage it. So just keep that in mind. But all in all, I think this is a really fun and interesting product. It has high quality down in there, 760 filled duck down. So it is rather compressible. It is very warm. I can feel myself already getting too hot in it right now. With the hood, the drawstring closure, the wrist straps, the ability to reach inside of your pockets right there. You can see my pant material and then snap that up and the option to put a lightweight summer down bag inside of this to then bring it down to a colder temperature makes a really interesting sleep system. All right, so now that we've had a little bit of fun bouncing around inside of the sleeping bag, it is a very, very fun product. And there's one very, very specific use that I wanna point out with this. The reason why I was super interested in it, not only can I wear it, not only can I sleep on my stomach, but this is an absolute treat inside of a hammock. Because for all you guys out there that use top quilts, it's cinched around your neck and you've got it all tucked in. You can't get your arms out to grab anything because as soon as you take your arms out of your sleeping bag or top quilt, now all that cold winter air rushes in and it's not pleasant. This system, you don't have to worry about that because your hands are always free to do whatever. So if you're using a, a phone or if you're using uh, whatever you're doing inside of your hammock at night, if, if you're watching movies on your phone like I do, or if you're eating snacks, or if you wake up in the morning and you wanna make coffee, you don't have to get out of your sleeping bag. You can do it from inside of your sleeping bag in a hammock or inside of a tent, making this a really, really awesome product. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I'm not sure of the, it says Cleo and then Nanja or Nanga. I hope I'm not mispronouncing that. I will do my best to put a link in the description of where you can find this because I can't find it on Amazon or pretty much anywhere, but I'll do my best in doing some research and finding a link of where you guys can find these at. And drop your comments and questions down in the comment section as always, and I will definitely get back to you. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.